Today I'm going to give you a short demo of my quadruped robotic project. I've executed the version 1 using an Arduino board and several 9G mic micro servo motors. But then the hardware was not, not that good enough using an Arduino. I, want to, I wanted to miniaturize the hardware so I went ahead and designed a board which is specific for this particular project. So I'd like to give you a short demo as on how I executed this project and just show you the working my first working code on this particular hardware. So first I would like to show you my schematic of this project. Okay, there you see. I'm using an Atmega 8 microcontroller with consists of all basic circuitry that's needed I have like two battery connectors and then a voltage regulator a voltage regulator a battery connectors and a bluetooth module so I'm gonna use I'm gonna control my quadruped using a bluetooth device I have my reset circuitry here and my crystal which I haven't used on the actual hardware and then I have my microcontroller here and then scrolling down is the ISP interface for programming my microcontroller and these connectors you see are for interfacing microcontroller I'm sorry are for interfacing the servo motors so I have made use of this Atmega 8 board to connect up to 12 servo motors at a time and one challenge that I faced was driving 12 servo motors you know uh, servo motors need 5 volts basically 5 to 5.6 to 6 volts for its operation and since I'm going to use a lithium ion battery on my quadruped I won't have I need to regulate that voltage down to 5, 5 to 5.6 volts for which I have made use of two 7805 voltage regulators so I'm going to heat sink them very well so that whatever is the current drawn by these 12 servo motors they withstand and they provide 5 volts for the servos to operate so that's the basic schematic of my circuit of my quadruped robot controller and here I have a LED just to just for debugging purpose so that I can program and see if my code is working so I basically use it to glow the LED on and off okay let's go ahead and see my board the PCB that I've designed using Eagle Okay, there you see my single layer PCB design for my robot controller. I've used a TQFP, TQFP package of the Atmega 8 microcontroller and I've used most of the SMD components to reduce the size since I'm miniaturizing it I want the size to be as small as possible. So that's the board. The design I have made copies of them in this layout in, so that when I take a print of this for my toner transfer method of PCB fabrication I have several copies of it the PCB and completing the board I would like to show you how to show you in steps as to like what I did so here I have my PCB layout which was printed out. So using a toner transfer method you basically need the design to be printed on a sheet using a laser printer. So the toner that's basically used in the laser printers melts down when it's heated. So that's the basic principle that we'll be using. So we'll be using these sheets to transfer the design from the paper onto the PCB. 
So we cut out the exact size of the sheet of the PCB and once we have the PCB we place them on the, on the PCB we have we place the design on the PCB and heat the PCB from the other side of from the other side of the paper using an iron so once you heated it well the design gets transferred onto the PCB and the PCB then the design sticks to the, the PCB so after that you soak the you soak the PCB in water and then you scrape off the paper once you scrape off the paper you finally get something like this so this is my PCB with the mask still on and I've already etched this process but I haven't removed the mask so once you once you transfer the design you etch this PCB using ferric chloride solution which is an etchant which removes the copper from the board there are a lot of videos out there which you could refer to make your own PCB PCB was completed I had to this was an older PCB design all the PCB layout that I made using Eagle since the ratness that I put on it caused a lot of problems I was trying to solder I changed it and I got now the finalized board I have is here so this is my finalized fully built quadruped robot controller so there I have my Atmega 8 microcontroller, my 7-8, my voltage regulator for my microcontroller and the Bluetooth module that I'm going to interface. And there I have my switch for switching on and switching off. And then there you see two voltage regulators, 7805 voltage regulators, each of them connected to drive about six servo motors each. This is my other side of my microcontroller. I have an ISP interface at the bottom here, which I will be using to program my microcontroller, and also two other connectors here, which will be used to connect, which are basically battery connectors. So one of them to drive the microcontroller alone, and the other one for the servo motor. So you can use two different batteries, or you can use one single battery. I have made use of a jumper here which would be used to set so if I short these two pins here I'll be using my primary battery source for both of the my, both the microcontroller and the servo motors if I short second two pins I'll be using two different batteries one to drive my microcontroller and the other one to drive the servo motors and you see these four pins here I'm gonna I'll be connecting my Bluetooth module here so I'll be using the Bluetooth module to wirelessly transmit signals so that I can control my quadruped. So basic idea is to transmit signals via Bluetooth so that I can control the robot using my phone. So I'll be using the Bluetooth terminal software available on the Android market and then I'll be sending out codes to my quadruped which will receive the signal and then move as well so there, there I have my modified quarterboard skeleton so very simple structure basically have 8 servo motors totally used all of them are 9G servo motors so I can quickly go and show you code that's being successfully executed in my microcontroller so I've written a code on the code vision AVR which is basically to blink the LED so remember I've connected an LED just for debugging purpose so I'm going to use this LED to blink so there I have my Sina Pro which has programmed my microcontroller successfully going to the microcontroller executing its first program okay there you see it powered on okay I have my LED 
program being run on the microcontroller. So I basically use the internal eight internal RC oscillator set at set to operate at eight megahertz. Okay, guys, that's about it for now. Keep watching my site to see my robot work in life. I'll be posting the videos and the other technical contents on my site. Thank you.